Hello, hello, hello. Today I'm doing a balayage technique on my neighbor, Michael Hans. Here he is looking gorgeous. This is his natural color, but I'm going in through and gonna lighten up some gorgeous pieces to make him look super beachy. So as you can see, I'm picking up the pieces with the end of my brush, and then I'm picking them up so that I get like about an inch thick section that's like a triangle shape. I'm taking a small amount of the lightener and I'm applying that by turning my brush and kind of like feathering it on like you use a pen and I'm creating a thin piece from the root and then making it thicker as I go down through, placing it on the surface of the hair and then saturating it as I get closer to the bottom. So I'm not gonna put a whole lot of highlights through his hair. I'm just gonna paint on a few through each section. And my sections that I'm pulling down are about an inch to an inch and a quarter thick. And I'm taking quite like big sections within the sections because I want these pieces to be larger. Sorry, I put my arm up a couple times. I realize that afterwards, but uh, most of the time you can see pretty clear. So the trick is that you really want to put a small amount of product and without rubbing it in, you just want to lay it on the top of the hair and then as you get to the ends, I'm saturating both sides. And you can see this one is a two point, which means it's shaped like a V and the middle is left with the natural color. So I did that a little bit thicker around the face. The cool thing about Michael's hair is that it's longer around the top and then shorter through the and underneath. So I'm able to put a lot more highlights like on those top sections, that's gonna look really cool. And then I'm doing smaller pieces through the and underneath. All of the products that I'm using, I'm gonna list in the comments, but this one is L'Oreal Professional Platinum. It's a thicker paste, so I'm using it with a 40 volume and I don't have to use any like um, perforated plastic or I don't have to put any like foil in between or any cotton. Because it's a paste and I'm doing large sections and I'm comfortable with this technique, I'm not using anything in between there. But if you feel like you want to, that's totally up to you. So just continuing up through the top part line and creating those triangular sections that I'm picking up and adding the product in, just laying it onto the top of the hair strand. How I'm holding the hair is important too. You can see that I'm pinching the strand and keeping it like with a nice tension. That makes a big difference to the application. Then the last little bit on the bottom, you can see I lay it on top of the planchette and then I'm applying the product so that it actually does go through from the front to the back. Now as I'm working my way through the back, I'm doing a little bit less so that it can fade away. I wanted the accents to mostly be in the front of the face. That's where we're gonna see most of the highlights. So moving on to the side, you can see it's a lot shorter over here. So I'm gonna do some smaller pieces and I'm just gonna do some single pieces that are just going to brighten up the underneath without adding too much of a highlight here. Michael wears his hair on a deep side part and he often wears it so that it goes in this direction. He does flick it around a little bit but most of the time he does wear it that way so it's important that I did add some highlights on the darker, shorter pieces too because otherwise it would look like he has asymmetrical hair color and we don't want to do that. So I'm just about done this side and I'm gonna work my way into the back. So I'm just kind of fading in a few pieces here and there just to blend that in. You can see that the top section of the back around the crown is still longer than the and underneath. So I'm going to just lightly paint on some balayage pieces back through these sections. And again, I'm doing a few Vs, but this one's quite light. And sorry, I put my arm there around the camera so it's blocking the light, but you're getting the technique down. I bet you can see it. So notice I keep going back for more product. That's really important. 
and just adding on a little bit. You want to think about like the way that you're applying the product. You want it to look even the whole way through. You don't want to see any hair sticking through. So you want to make sure that like the product is white. You want to see white all the way down through the strand. Otherwise it's not going to lighten up enough. So the key things that are very important. Tension. The way that you're using your brush is important because that's the tool. And then the product choice is also key. So I'm using a paste today and I love using that for doing balayage techniques. You can see on this strand really great at this angle that I'm not doing the whole strand. I'm not saturating that hair strand all the way through until I get about three quarters of the way down. See, you can see that it's just like surface painting. And then as I lift it up at the bottom, now I'm gonna get both sides saturated. Okay, so this is a great section to show you, the back and the side. And you can see all of the different pieces. I have singles and I have doubles going on. Now I'm gonna just put a few more fine singles just around the hairline, creating some small little pieces there that will just brighten that up. And in hindsight, I really should have done the same thing on this side that I'm lifting away right now. I should have done that in the beginning. However, I didn't realize that we would want to go so far down with the highlights, but just the way that he parts his hair, it made more sense. And I'm doing it after. So I moved the hair up, I've clipped it, but uh, it is a paste and it's not going to mess up any of these highlights, but I would recommend if you were to do it to start from the underneath first, but I'm just going in and throwing a few more pieces in under there. Perfect. So now we're going to process Michael's hair for 30 minutes. Again, it's uh, platinum. It's a paste, ammonia-free, 30 volume. We're just going to give him a nice sun-kissed look. Okay, so got this handsome devil all done. Looks amazing. So as you can see, we got some beautiful balayage. Softly painted it on through the sides here and all up through the top. Tip your head forward. Little. What a big difference. Um, we're gonna show you the before again in a sec, but I just love it. How you feeling? I love it. You That's ready? awesome. Go to the beach? Yeah, let's go surfing. <laughs> Barbecue. <laughs> <laughs> love him. We did a great job on his hair, and we'll have more styles for men, of course, coming up, because obviously he needs more hairstyles after this. Maybe Definitely. something for fall. Yeah. See you soon. Bye. <laughs>